Hey guys, welcome back to this way in the episode of Program Hub. My name is Vishal and in this episode we're going to talk about a very interesting question for the year. If you're still thinking about purchasing a MacBook Air for programming, so this video might be very useful for you to make up the decision that whether you should buy the MacBook Air with the M1 chip or Intel chip still and is it better for programming still in 2020. So let's start off with the video. So if talking about the MacBook Air 2017 or 2019 versions that are coming still with the Intel based chips. So if you're thinking about to buy that. So here's my review about them. So if you're considering programming and if you're just a beginner into programming and if you're considering to buy a MacBook Air that is of 2019 version or lately of 2017 So, if I truly consider that for programming, might be just learning up some general programming languages like Java, Python, C++ or any other language. So that will be provided with a great efficiency in MacBook Air 2017 either because that's powered with an i5 processor that is of 5th generation with an 8 GB of RAM. So that much amount of processor and RAM is pretty much enough and a decent amount of computation that is required for doing a general level of programming at a beginner level of stage so taking it further even if you're trying to use some ids like android studio visual studio or xcode that might even get a better performance in macbook air 2017 because in my college life when i was doing my computer science degree i used a macbook air that was around of 2015 version so that even provided me with a good efficiency and this macbook that is currently of 2017 has an i5 processor with an 8 gb of ram that could provide you with a very good value of performance for compilation of code execution time so that would be really good into that and if considering web development into a macbook air of 2017 or an intel based macbook air so web development will also be provided with a greater efficiency into any of these models because for web development you do not need any higher efficiency than core i5 processor so core i5 processor is eligible enough to provide you with a greater efficiency for learning purposes and if you are beginner truly so that will provide you with a greater efficiency for coding and compilation of the codes and that will be just fine for you at the very minimum basic level and finally answering the final most question of the day can you still buy the macbook air that comes with an intel based chip or should you buy the m1 based chip macbook air so finally answering this question my opinion generally over here is that if you're a learner and if you're beginning to learn programming so you need not to buy the m1 based macbook air because m1 based macbook air is great of performance it's providing you with a great efficiency great performance but If you're considering yourself as a beginner into programming and you don't have that much of use of a GPU because the M1 base chip is coming with a higher amount of GPU and a great acceleration provided for the GPU unit so if you're not going into a graphical development if you have no use of the graphics card so M1 chip is just not of any use for you so if you want to upgrade you can truly upgrade to an M1 base MacBook Air that's just enough but if you're just considering with a lower amount of a budget and you want to go with a good laptop that will provide you with a greater efficiency for learning programming so you can just go with any other intel chip based macbook air or you can even go with a 2017 version of macbook air so that will just provide you with a greater efficiency and performance but if you're considering some amount of gpu utility for example you want to video edit if you want a laptop that will provide you with a greater efficiency for learning data science or machine learning and if you want to go into something that is utilizing the gpu performance and the power so for that you need to buy an m1 base chip because that has an 7 core or an 8 core of gpu unit provided into right into the m1 chip that's integrated right inside that m1 chip so that will provide you with a greater efficiency for the gpu utility as well so if you have any kind of a use of a graphics card so you must go with an m1 based chip otherwise you can just go with any other macbook air so that's my final decision and opinion for you so that's just my final opinion for you that whether you should buy a macbook air with an intel based chip or with an m1 chip so if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you want more such videos please subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next video till then goodbye